Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon. My name is Milagros Laz. I'm going to show you the findings of a study that we did on manufactured materials, manufactured with recycled materials. And we call these echo materials. So, um, we became aware of a general interest in reducing waste and um, also reducing um, the use of um, dry composites, aggregates. And we, um, and our students said that they would like to work with in the environment and to reduce pollution. And that's when we started our project. Now, we work in the university and we work obviously in the field of R&D and how to uh, develop further any ideas. Now what are our expectations? Well, we wanted to use new construction materials that had characteristics that were featured to traditional construction materials and we wanted to make these materials with recycled materials so that we could then therefore stem the amount of materials that are being thrown away into landfills. So in our case, we wanted to replace aggregates with cement-based materials uh, in mortar and in uh, concrete. And we also wanted to replace ceramic and glass materials using recycled materials so that we could then come up with new materials. And these are our research areas. We try to produce and manufacture new materials. We want to manage waste using alternative uh, material re uh, recycling approaches. We also want to use 3D printing. Uh, uh, we want to produce a, a ceramic and gl glass materials and we worked alongside all our students and thanks to them we've been able to uh, release the study. All of those that worked with us, uh, if you want to know who they are, their names will appear at the bottom of the next slide. There they are. So we studied the literature, we looked at how materials were thrown away, how they were recycled and recovered, and we also looked at environmental projects, and we therefore integrated all these different areas in one single project. Mm, we also received funding from the names that you can see on the slide. We managed to obtain funding from the local Canary Islands government, from the Caja Canarias Foundation, and from the University of La Laguna itself. And these are the results of uh, a study that we did on glass and vitroceramic materials using waste. Um, basically what we did was we collected uh, demolition waste, construction waste, and we used all these different materials and we also looked at sludge treatment. Mm, we looked at various different applications that needed melting and smelting processes, which is a very um, expensive process. And you can see the X-ray diffraction graph uh, in the middle and this shows how we managed to obtain glass materials and then through this process we've been able to convert amorphous materials into a glass-like substance which you can see in the, specter, uh, the spectrum image on the top right. We can see therefore how the scientific processes allow us to obtain glass materials with very particular features. We look at the mechanical features, we look at its toughness and its flexibility. If we look at the hardness of the material, excuse me, yes, here we are. If we look at the hardness of this material, we can see that we have two very different measurements. On the left, the test that we conducted on this vitreous glass-based material 
and we can see some very clear marks on the outside of the imprint and if you look at the one on the right you can see that the imprint is very difficult so we see that the characteristics of these vitreous materials are very different in their nature mm, and you can see in the table the differences between commercial glass and the glass, the experimental glass. We have hardness at the top and below on the left hand side and then we have flexibility on the right hand side. So we can see that these materials have very good mechanical properties um, and they are also extremely expensive materials because of the manufacturing process that we had to use. We also worked on different areas without uh, too much waste processing. So what we did was we looked at how we can process uh, household glass and other types of glass and how we could um, begin to work with uh, workmen's mortar to substitute aggregates with glass-based sands. We also looked at um, replacing various different types of cement with different aggregates that we produced and how we can make special types of mortar, uh, single layer and adhesive mortars. You can see that we undertook various different mechanical tests on the materials that we uh, produced, compression tests and so on and so forth. And from this table we can see a comparison between the results obtained for conventional mortar. On the left hand side we have sand based mortar. Uh, in the middle we have uh, glass mortar that we use domestic glass to uh, manufacture and then finally we have uh, the glass based mortar but using other types of glass. Now uh, we can see that these performed extremely well when compared to traditional mortar. So in some cases therefore uh, we could substitute aggregates by using the mm, uh, glass-based mortar that we use from the treatment and reprocessing of waste glass. And finally we looked at artificial agglomerate uh, rocks and stones using um, recycled glass sand. So we looked at using natural silicon and silicon based matters and re replacing these with recycled glass. It could be domestic glass or other types of glass. Um, in fact, the director of EU Waste um, spoke about this earlier. And we used very different resins to agglomerate the uh, materials that we came up with in the end. And we therefore created uh, eco resins. And we managed to produce resins, and in fact the resins that we're using, 50% of them came from re recycled veg vegetables and materials, plant-based plant materials. So we also used uh, different types of marble and other materials to mix them all together. We had we used white uh, marble and we had artificial stone. And the results that we obtained when we test these different materials that we produced were very favourable. We have also manufactured various different filaments for 3D printing, uh, for uh, individual 3D printing. And for the printing, we also used um, dust from uh, banana and we use these to create these new materials and in fact the results that we had were um, very very good results uh, so these new and, and innovative materials are extremely useful in the manufacturing of new products so what we're doing is we are recycling upcycling in a certain sense using Badana fiber and many other types. So what we're doing is we are making use of our engineering resources at the University of La Laguna. We are the 
uh, material engineering research group. There are three of us, Jose Miguel Cáceres, Maria Hernández, Maria Milagres, that's me. And we uh, have been working together, not for a very long time. Obviously, we've previously worked with other larger groups, but this specific research group is one that has not been going for very long. We've been working with another group called Matmol. We've worked with JESLAB. These are other research groups based in the University of La Laguna. Um, so we have a very small research group, but we work and are very keen on working in, on multidisciplinary projects together with anybody who is interested in working on creating new materials from recycled materials, on the manufacturing and the marketing of these new materials and products. We're also interested in working together with specialised groups. Mm who specialise in various different properties of materials, properties that we have not yet necessarily studied. And we're also extremely keen on collaborating with groups that might need our contribution. I'm obviously talking about our expertise related to the mechanical properties, uh, microscopic frog properties of materials. So that's basically what we do. And um, thank you for your attention.